Hello, Ben Carpenter here. A few months ago, I had a bit of an online debate with someone about low carb diets. Now, his original statement was that low carb diets were always better for weight loss. I personally believe that this is too black and white. Now, we, we had a bit of a back and forth, him mostly arguing and shouting, and me trying to bring some objective discussion into this. So I thought it would be interesting for you guys, for me to explain why there's such confusion on this topic. Because then it allows you to come to your own decision rather than someone telling you low carbs are best and you thinking, brilliant, he's in good shape, let's go with that. So he posted a table. It had 18 randomized controlled trials and the breakdown of each. Now on the surface, the breakdown of each seemed to suggest that the low carb diet groups had greater weight loss in the majority of cases. Now this is brilliant. If there is a diet out there which I think creates the best weight loss, I would promote this. It's in my best interest for you guys to get the best results as possible. However, I think that this is potentially misleading. If not misleading, it's more complicated than people would suggest. So this is why I think you might find it interesting. So on the surface, if the majority of trials say that low carb is better, that would be good. However, this is why I don't think it's that straightforward. In some trials, this is if you dissect it, you look at, um, you look at each individual text, you look at the full text, don't just look at the abstract. In some trials, if they're comparing two diet groups, let's say low carbohydrate diet and a moderate macronutrient intake diet. Whichever one is best, automatically people say that is the best way for weight loss, but they don't look at the other factors involved. So low carb diet group loses more weight than moderate macronutrient intake diet group. Therefore, low carbs are important for weight loss. But what if I told you that both groups were eating a different amount of calories? There are some trials that when they looked at caloric breakdown, they weren't eating the same number of calories. Therefore, is it fair to say that low carbs are better for weight loss? Or is it just a caloric restriction itself? I would not argue that if low carbs had a, an even greater decrease in caloric consumption, that they would get greater weight loss. I concede that. I'm happy to concede that. However, I think it's unfair to say that low carbohydrates are what geared that. I think it's the low carbohydrates which therefore made people eat less when compared to diet group B. So number one, caloric intake has to be standardized. If you are someone who doesn't weigh food, you don't count macronutrients, etc., a low carb diet is a potentially a very easy way for you to restrict calories enough to create weight loss. So when people are eating um, in ad libitum trials, i.e. at one's pleasure, rather than um, controlled trials where food was supplied, low carbohydrate diets may have a successful edge due to people finding it easier to re restrict calories to a greater degree, i.e. because of the restrictive nature of the diet, people tend to eat less. So yes, in that instance, low carb diets perhaps may be better than moderate macronutrient intake uh, intake diets if they eat less than this group. I'm fine with that. Next, and this is if you scratch beneath the surface a lot, if you've got a diet where caloric consumption is controlled, which is obviously a great start, but the group on the low carbs also have higher protein intake, is it fair to conclude that the low carb aspect of the diet was what created the weight loss and not the heightened protein intake? So in terms of body composition, we know that protein is important for lean mass preservation. We also know that protein has got the highest thermic effect out of the macronutrients, i.e. the um, metabolic cost of digesting and utilizing protein is higher than carbohydrates and fats. So if you're eating 2000 calories, but you're eating more protein, you may get greater weight loss due to the fact that you are um, increasing caloric expenditure through thermic effect of food. So is it the carbohydrate restriction itself creating weight loss? Or is it that low carb diets often tend to have a higher protein intake, 
i.e. is it actually the protein intake that's magical rather than the carbohydrate restriction. So there is a trial which evaluated this and it's my favourite trial on this topic because instead of comparing group A and group B and whichever's the successful one automatically assuming that's best for reasons which might be a bit unfair, this one actually had four diet groups so it could look at two independent factors. So rather than having a lower carb and a higher protein and perhaps a lower caloric intake, this looked at specifically whether it's protein or carbohydrate, which tends to create the greater weight loss effect. So we have four groups. We have two high protein groups and two normal protein groups. So we have high protein, normal carb, we have high protein, low carb. Then we have normal protein, normal carb, and normal protein, low carb. So we are looking at two standardized protein intakes, and within those uh, caloric limits, different carbohydrate manipulations, i.e. normal or low carbohydrate diets. So after a run-in period, subjects were fed 33% of maintenance calories for three months, i.e. a very, very restrictive diet to create sudden weight loss. Then they were fed 67% of original maintenance calories to maintain that weight loss. So, out of the two, what do you think is better for weight loss? Is it carbohydrate restriction? Is it the protein intake? So, in terms of health markers, all four groups had similarly improved health markers, i.e. it appears to be the weight loss through caloric restriction which improves health markers. It didn't vary dramatically among, among groups. Weight loss was greatest in both high protein groups. Therefore, the low carb group appeared to make no difference. It was, it was the high protein itself which had greater weight loss. Pro, um, weight loss was similar between both high protein groups and both normal protein groups. So basically what this means is that high protein beats normal protein and carbohydrate manipulation within a certain caloric intake doesn't make any difference. So protein is the most important factor. If you have a heightened protein intake you will get greater weight loss. Carbohydrate manipulation within a certain caloric limit is less important than the protein. That is what this study would suggest. So, if you're on a low carb diet and your protein goes up as a byproduct of that, you will probably get greater weight loss. However, to conclude that it's the low carbs and carbs are bad, no one should eat carbs ever, is misleading because this study would suggest that it's just the fact you've increased protein intake, which is the most influential factor in terms of weight loss not the carbohydrate restriction itself. Carbohydrate manipulation within this study showed no difference in weight loss. The only difference in weight loss was whether you were eating the high protein or the normal protein group. That was the deciding factor. So if you're dieting and you're eating in a hypocaloric state, i.e. below maintenance levels, higher protein will beat normal protein. Low carb versus normal carb doesn't make a difference. That's what this study will conclude. So protein intake is the most important. If you are someone who isn't counting calories, going on a low carb diet might be a very easy way to have a diet plan which allows you to control calories to a restrictive enough degree that you create weight loss. But that doesn't necessarily mean that carbohydrates themselves are bad and that a raised carbohydrate in intake will hinder weight loss. It's just an easy way to set up a diet with a high enough protein intake and a low enough caloric intake to create weight loss. But it doesn't suggest that um, carbohydrates are bad and you need to avoid them. It's the heightened protein intake which does the work. So I hope you found this interesting. Please feel free to ask questions, comments, etc. My Facebook page is facebook.com forward slash Ben Carpenter Personal Training and my Twitter page is BDC Carpenter. And thank you for watching. Bye.